Hey guys, it's Jem, and I'm back again playing Little Hope, and in the last one we finished the prequel and the start of the game where we saw the family who ended up being killed in the house fire, and then what looked to be the same people in the modern day who ended up in Little Hope via a bus crash. Dun dun dun. So we're going to get back in there where we finished off and see what happens next. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? That's your choice. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. Fix your rug. Over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, the spirits from the past, the little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What? What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? No. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be... regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Thought you weren't supposed to get hints. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. So we're playing as Angela right now. We just had the spooky vision, Angela and Andrew, with the little girl. Apparently they've never been to like a pioneer village or anything. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, another picture? So that's really cool that they're doing the pictures as postcards. Um, excuse me.
think I was supposed to see something, but I pressed the wrong button. There's a viewpoint ahead. Need our scenic views. <gasps> oh, for Oh, dear. All right, let's check out this viewpoint. Might get a better view from up there. Ooh, Glinty. What do we got here? Ghost towns of the Northeast. Little Hope, the town returning to nature. The abiding image of a ghost town is in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably come back to economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town. A one-factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving the, a desolate ruin. Hidden Depths Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sport enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice claiming, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing, Architects of Bluch. Bluch, 10.30 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer with her hard-hitting investigative style. Under any new... Oh, uh, sorry. But will her harder-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the sunny views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Okay. So we've had a couple instances of spooky monsters. There was the witch with the little girl in the past. Um, saw what looked like a spike of a fence. And now that... What's this? Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton, a play by W.M. Rowley Thos Decker and John Ford, performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, 17th, April, 7 p.m. This have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. 
ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Oh, can't go that way. Who's that? Little girl. Spooky monsters. Who knows? this ah uh, just an old tractor well, it's getting foggier crazy uh, I guess it's just some reflections there's something up ahead Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. <laughs> Stay right here. No, this is how people die. Oh, do I have to do this? Uh Okay. Hold up, I'll come with you. Okay. Two is better than one. Just a little girl. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Hey, you two! <gasps> no, no, no. This, this is not good. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. No, this is, this is 100% no. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Get off me! John! What? What? What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. It's Angela. What the hell are you? What do you want? It's Angela. That's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. What? <laughs> Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. 
You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. Yeah. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. Oh, now she you know. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. Is she? It's all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split Those up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. Oh. Oh. Uh. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Shut out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. No, we've literally been finding stuff that says this town is abandoned. This is bad. Oh, I can't believe we're going back into the spooky tunnel. Oh, I'm Andrew now, by the way. In case it wasn't obvious. Hold up. You hear that? What? Uh, what? Where are you going? Shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I just failed. Are we okay here? You're such a jerk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. What did we even see? I do know... There were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. Oh, don't be a ass. What the hell was that? Now what? What did you see? What's up? <sighs> you look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach we all have our own way of coping john here feels the urge to be our leader the alpha male whereas daniel and taylor feel an entirely different somewhat more animalistic urge how do you deal with all this i'm a natural survivor tough marriage and <laughs> An even tougher divorce will do that to you. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up on all of us just yet. If we stick together, we will make it out of this mess. I'm not sure about that. You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John. Oh, another one of these. Oh. 
What are we doing? Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. Please be Angela what behind we us. Saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. No, it, it really is different. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. This better not be another deer. Where Wait. are you going? Just a cat. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? No. I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> what? Anyhow, there's no one here. Modern magic and ritual. I don't know why it just gave me a tutorial there. Ronald Nelson TC. Modern magic and rituals is a definitive guide to the subject of magic of the new age as opposed to magic for stage magicians. <laughs> Written for practitioners to hone their knowledge and art, this book examines detail of all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. Exciting. New Age curses. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums like casting love spells on another person. Some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defense. Or self-defense. However, there are numbers of questions that practitioners should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired response? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of the grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same can be said of working harmful magic. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it is always best to cleave to Rudolf Steiner's golden rule. For every one step you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. Knowledge of higher words and its attainment, 1904. Illustration, lock of hair. The hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic, from love spells to curses. When mixed with sulfur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, there was the... Tanya, the sister that died, had a moon pendant and her boyfriend had a sun pendant. Uh, sun and moon. The sun and moon are important for the practical magician. The sun represents death and rebirth of God, whose life cycle is marked by the wheel of the year. The sun is born at the winter solstice, matures in spring, flourishes at the summer solstice, and then wanes in autumn and winter before being reborn. It sustains life, it helps the growth of nature that feeds us and keeps us warm. The moon represents the divine goddess, queen of heaven. She is the keeper of mysteries, ruler of psychic powers and unseen realms. The moon is identified with women's menstrual cycles. Its phases are aspects of triple goddesses so that the waxing moon represents a young maiden, the full moon is a pregnant mother, and the new moon is the crone. The sun and moon represent the cosmic balance of male and female universal forces. Around these simple revolve many mysteries of human existence, such as love, passion, fertility, death, and rebirth, as well as the afterlife. They inspire the modern magician. Traditional Wiccan covens honor the goddesses of the Esfats, the full moon, while Druidic, Druidic traditions celebrate the solar solstices and equinoxes. Illustration, sun and moon, these magic charms represent male and female, the cosmic lovers. They provide good luck, protection, and fertility for couples. Uh, any other pages? No, I guess not. Hmm, interesting. Maybe there was some magic going on. Oh, what's this? Oh, a gun. Okay, four bullets. Oh. You all done with poking around? So we saw a gun in... What the hell are you doing with a gun? We found a gun in the... Saw a gun in the floor. premonition. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be careful. I promise. Men and guns. <laughs> Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Um, was that it for the building? Because it still says to check out the building. Oh, I guess so. Oh. Just edit that out. Uh, we did get some bearing stuff. Oh my god. We have, like, had so many weird interactions with Angela. None with Daniel. And only one with John and Taylor. Yeah, so we've got two. Uh, we found a couple secrets, which is nice. Plenty. Oh, another Blair Witch symbol. What kind of place is this? A spooky one. Okay, so John fucked off. Like a jerk that he is. Seems like something spooky is going to come out of that. Professor? You're such a twat. <gasps> Andrew here is packing. 
<laughs> what? A gun? Are you crazy? We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. You keep leaving us. Uh, I don't condone guns. Um, I'm Canadian, so pretty strict gun laws, but yeah. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. We could try a door. Oh, another premonition. I think that was a scene from the demo, if you haven't seen it already. Which is something that happens later on. Also, I super appreciate, like, they're just, like, all in on, like, the spooky witch stuff with the black cat and their symbols. <laughs> Uh, no entry, authorized personnel. Yeah, the door's locked, I guess. Alright, let's grab the rock. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling what pressure. What is this? Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Yeah. Like, come on. Strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. What is you your problem? Can make a shot like that? Safe enough. Uh, uh. No, you should clear some of the glass away before you Piece enter a broken window. You're up next. Because there's a lot of spiky glass right there where you're putting, you know, your feet and stuff. Okay, Taylor and Daniel. Little Hope Middle School. Oh, we're playing as Daniel. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Uh... What's this? What's that noise? I'm. Oh shit! I don't know. Land for sale. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town? Founded 1890, Little Hope Middle School. No trespassing. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. 
Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Ah. Uh... What the hell? Hey, you, hold up. Plan of Little Hope, nineteen or sixteen ninety two. All right. Little Hope Bridge Playground. Uh, Little Hope Playground. Oh, these were the best playgrounds. Little girl and priest? No comments? All right. Swings. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be gone. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! <gasps> what spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I will do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. Whew. So the priest guy kind of looks like Andrew. Maybe I'm imagining it, though. Oh. Premonition? Yeah. Ooh. 
So if I'm we don't save here. Angela, we'll be taking getting out of here. You'll yep. see. It'll take her. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Oh. Place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Stop the Ravenden factory closure. Over here, look at this. Hope for little hope. The Carvers want to close the blah. Factory and sell the land, blah. Development, blah. Would result in the blah and devastate the community. The union has proposed an offer to save the factory in our town. Please sign our petition to persuade the Carver family to accept the union offer and reverse their decision. Ask for details from staff at post office or town hall. Citizens for Little Hope and TLUA Local 618. Okay. Chances are I will likely miss a bunch of stuff, but I do want to like look around and try and find everything I can. Just find another way. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. This is such I'm a bad sure. idea. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. I didn't check the garbage. Oh well. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Why would you not just pass it? I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Notice of closure, effective June 28, 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitmar and Mar wishes to thank all the customers for your support over the years. Yours, Jay Smith and A. Lash, General Managers. Stock to remove, snacks, magazine, alcohol, firearms, tobacco... Gas and oil, dairy, eggs, produce, bread, dry goods, cans, electrical goods, and miscellaneous.
Premonition? Huh. They're not always so literal. What's this? Local minister arrested, dated June 14, 1973. A minister of the Diocese of Planet Isn't River has been arrested for complaints from concerned parents about his behavior. The arrest comes after recent revelations that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. Wow. I guess this would be the time of the Church of Satan. Uh, as eyewitnesses said, the, the minister of St. David's Church in Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel McGuire confirmed the Reverend Leonard Carson, 42, was being held in custody at Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. A spokesman from St. David's commented, I've never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was purely academic and we'd often warn parents of the spiritual dangers of the occult. Another parishioner, who did not wish to be named, claimed that Minister was innocent of wrongdoing. That child is known as an attention seeker. Oh, this is the preacher that was talking to Megan. Uh, the child is known as an attention seeker, and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members agree of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. The district attorney's office did not respond to calls when contacted. The office of the Diocese of Pleasant River stated that the bishop had declined to comment, but that a deacon. I'll continue on. I'm page four. Exploring the urge to reach beyond. I guess this is about um, like a lot because a lot of space stuff was done in like the nineteen seventies. Uh, Hello, anyone there? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! <laughs> Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company. 
of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Come on, we need a break here. Oh no, this would be like super disconnected a long time ago. I'm surprised there was even a noise. Will you relax? I'm coming. Troubles you. Tell me, what is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations oh, of what sort? There is talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. You are privy to the rumors Please, about sir, my wife, Amy. Please, do not open that door. Do not let them take me, I beg you, husband. I am here to arrest your wife, Joseph. I have the legal warrant here. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? No, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. I know. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Priest. The one from the playground. I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in little hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What? Oh my god. What do you think? Uh, so this is the start of the demo, which I have seen. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. 
There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Oh, don't be an ass. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Have you got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. Okay, um, so I think I'm going to actually leave it here. I do plan on continuing recording it. Um, so I'll just pick up from this point. Or maybe I'll cut it at the end of Taylor and Daniel's section. Just because we're reaching the hour mark and I don't want to have too long a video. And so yeah, lots of... Uh, crazy stuff going on so far i uh wow <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my god yeah a lot of spooky like lead up to things we're getting a little more look into the past uh to the witch trial era we're learning more about the priest uh, in, from the, that was mentioned in the prologue, um, there seems to be a consistent theme of something is wrong with the little girl, uh, Mary in the Salem era, Megan in the family, the 1970s, so, hmm. Really looking forward to seeing what happens next. All right. So leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Uh, leave any comments of what you think is going to happen. Uh, no spoilers, please, because I haven't. Uh, well, I have seen the demo. Every playthrough is a little different because uh, all the demos that I saw didn't have Angela here. So that suggests that Angela went with Taylor and Daniel. And yeah. Whew. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.